Alright guys, McChook are back with another episode of Digital One World. Me and Gabba have been up all night training, up past midnight, fucking lifting, getting ready for a big battle in Drill Tunnel. Cause you know there's gonna be one, don't you? You know the whole time you were like, oh, bloody mining? No, that's not what we're gonna be doing here at Drill Tunnel. We're gonna be fighting. So, yesterday we spent the whole day fucking lifting filth and then Gabba through all that strenuous training turned into Tyranomon here. So by now I think Drimogamon has had enough time to s to drill into the centre of this mountain here and see what's going on. Because we've heard fe that other Drimogamon is very hot in here. Don't know why, should it really be that hot? Our dirt, our filth is still glitching out here but yes we have hit, not gold, what have we hit? We don't know yet. We've hit a rock. Great. Right, drum will go on, hello. Shoot! Shoot! We hit a big rock! Right, fuck that, I'm not gonna be doing any accents. I can't get through! You can't? Oh no. We gotta figure out how to move it. Can you do it? No, fuck this. I'm not doing accents. My accents are stupid. I know you've all been thinking that everyone at home has thought, McChukter, your accents are piss, right? So I'm just gonna stick to Scottish. We gotta figure out how to do it, how to move it. Can you do it? I don't know. Gabba, I need your help. Right, so Gabba couldn't do it. You can't do this if you're a rookie Digimon. Gabba is a mighty fine, strong champion level Digimon, so he's gonna move the shit out of that rock. Wow, amazing power, we moved the rock. Yes, we did. Right, so there's a big orange circle there, right? And orange, as we all know, symbolises heat. And as I say here, it's a lava river. It's dangerous. There's a path along the river, let's go. Going inside, be careful, right? So this is clearly why it was so hot, because the centre of the mountain is filled with lava. This is very ominous here, with, like, what the hell's going on here? Oh, look at that. That fantastic 3 FPS lava spitting out of the wall. Brilliant, folks. Lava cave. Aptly named, I must say, because it's a cave filled with lava. And who is this? <gasps> it's a rock man made for lava. Not really a rock man, a lava man made for rock. Tribes fell apart, losing memories and becoming wild. I don't know how long I can stay sane. We can't leave it like this. They must realise the danger. <laughs> you know? Oh, he's raging. You can tell he's raging by how red he is. Oh, the redness, I can't handle all this red. It's like fucking visual boy. Oh, there it is, it's going. Stop! Do you want to ruin the island? So, was this prick all along ruining the island? Who are you? Move out of my way. This is the only way. Oh, shit. Right, so we got our first big battle here, folks. This guy's a champion level Digimon, just like Tyranimon, and it's gonna be a heavy battle. Oh, we get the first hit in. Get done, you goon. Right, and we now have a new option, attack. This means Tyranimon's gonna be going on the offensive, hunting him down, fucking sonic jabbing him right in the gut. Oh shit, did you see that? Such power, even lagged the game out there because of the power from that sonic jab. And he's so fast, you can't keep up with these lickety split sonic jabs, Meramon, you just cannot. Now Meramon has some decent moves here. Magna Bomb, that was the one I was going to learn. Oh shit, the power of that sonic jab though, but they dropping the FPS. Oh, let the frames drop. Right, but hopefully Meramon, we're going to learn a couple of moves here off of this Meramon. Oh, that hit us there. And we've almost got a finisher, big hit coming at you Meramon. Better watch out. Right, next time somebody attacks. Come on, do something Meramon, I want to be safe hitting this because it can be interrupted. No, Oh yeah. Oh, the frame's dropping. Look at that frame drop. 
Good god. Hurry up and stay boy. Come on. Right. Hit me. Right. Let's use the finisher now. If I can figure out what button it is. Say it's push square. Blaze breath. There. There. Oh the blaze breath. I'm mashing it. I'm mashing it for the blaze breath. Hefty. Oh that was damaging as heck. Alright, that's a good move, dynamite kick, hopefully Tyranum will not learn that. Sonic jab, a couple more sonic jabs should do it, well not a couple, quite a few more sonic jabs should do it. Dynamite kick, that's the move we want to learn. It's like pretty fast, it does moderate damage, it's pretty good overall. Not as fast as sonic jab, but it does far more damage. We might have to use a single healing item all game and she's one here. Because he might come out with his finisher and that would be fatal. Oh, we've almost got our second finisher of the game here. Come on. Come on. There it is, right. Come on, attack me, you big bastard. Oh, I get interrupted. Not, the, not that menu. Blaze Breath Sun. Oh, this has got to kill. Get done. Right, very well played Tyranomon. Very well played. <laughs> That's the new uh, Godzilla sound. Off chip. Dynamite kick learned, good. Now we don't need to bother about horrendous fucking sonic jab move. Are you telling me there's another way? If the island is ruined, it, de ruined, it defeats the purpose. Listen to me, so he's a fucking idiot basically, made him on thinks if I blow up the island then they'll all know about the danger and they'll try to stop it. What? We're building a city for the island by gathering all Digimon. I heard that we could save the island from the danger by uniting Digimon. I think you're alright, but gathering all the Digimon, that's a big... We're working on it right? Nothing is impossible. Inspiration, that's a big job, but I moved. Maybe you guys can do it. Oh, life lessons coming at you. If you believe we can do it, oh, we will do it if we people believe in us. Alright, I'll go to the city. I guess that's my new patch. Come on. There we go. And he dropped us a lovely offense chip. Another one, would you like that? I think you would, there you go. You're a big eater, eat some chip, eat up. There we go. His offence stat will be sky high now. What's this? Medicine? What is this? Another offence chip! So he's just gonna put our offence up by a hundred? Three hundred? That's what our offence will be after this, three hundred. Good god. Sky high offense coming at you. It's empty, yep, I know. But let's teach him Dynamite Kick. Dynamite Kick's right there. Let's put it give it priority over Sonic Jab. Because we don't want him to be using that shitey move anymore. We've got a cracking move now, Dynamite Kick. Dynamite Kick's a really reliable move, you know. Lots of Digimon can learn it, and it's pretty good. Oh, see, all the lavas calm down now because Menamon's gone. But we've actually got more we can do here. There is another Dromogamon that's for <laughs> that's like digging a cave down here. I'm pretty sure. Down this way, which makes no sense whatsoever unless they're that fast. Maybe it's the same Dromogamon actually that was digging this cave. He saw the lava came down and he just came down here. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it'll be open soon. Great. I wish it was open now because we actually have to get to that place on the other side of the wall. So that'd be handy, but you know what? I think we can go around the other way. These little guys Demi made them on. Hey, how are you? They just they're not they're like not aggressive. You can't recruit them to the city or anything. I just came back here for the sake of it. I think it's to make this place less eerie. Proto floppy and of course Tyranimon's hungry. Right, so the best way to remember how to feed Tyranomon is the five rule, right? What you do is one, two, three.
three. Four. And five. There you go. That is how you feed Tyranimon. And don't give me your pish, it doesn't help. Because it does help. If you count to five, you feed them five times. There you go. Easy. Easy way to remember it. The five rule. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you get taught at school right there. Don't say I don't teach you anything, guys. S defense disc. These S discs, you can give them to the, your Digimon in battle and it'll boost their defense power. But it's not even by very much, it's not worth it. I just sell them because they're worth a wee bit. Not really worth that much anyway, but. They're worth a lot more to me in money than they are in, in boosting my stats temporarily. In games, I'm one of those guys that likes to have permanent stat boosts. I hate anything that's temporary because I feel like it's only, it's a, it's like putting a, it's like putting a plaster on a gaping wound. It doesn't he do very much? A gaping wound still gonna be, still gonna be open to infection, and it's not gonna heal. You need to stitch it up. You know, not a big fan of temporary solutions to big problems. Now, I think we might just eat a wee, a wee autopilot and get out of here quick. No, or do we? Mm, yes, I think we do. Right, let's eat a wee autopilot and get out. Nice wee noise. There we go, we're out. And it takes us straight back to File City. Handy dandy. Ugh. Right, so we've not had our meat of the day, I don't think. Let's see, let's see if we have. I know I've not done it on camera, but let's see if we've done it off camera. Hey, right, three pieces of giant meat. Good. Um, let's go and sell our stuff now, because we've got plenty of stuff for selling and we need to make room for more stuff. Because we'll be going to a new area now, and we'll need room for stuff. Stuff always handy, as I've found. Excuse me. Let's sell all this junk. What's this do? Fuck it, let's sell it anyway. The only floppy I ever tend to use in this game is medium. It's the best money wise. It's the best floppy that money can buy, except for no really. Let's sell these giant meats as well. And now we're rolling in the dosh guys. Right, let's buy more meat because can never have enough meat. And I don't ever want to run out. Let's buy another autopilot. Let's buy some more MP floppies as well because Tyranimon now has a half decent attack. By 10. And we'll buy another two medium recoveries. I'm not really doing this in any sort of way. I don't <laughs> I don't actually know how much we had, so I just kinda bought random amounts. 14, ah oh, that should be plenty. Right, so let's head to a brand new area. Oh, dodge him, can't be bothered with that. Do we have a mushroom? No we do not. Is there a mushroom down here? No there is not, god damn it. You know I like my mushrooms, and there are no mushrooms here, that makes me raging. During the last earthquake, the dirt and sand disappeared. Great! So we can head up here now. Path through Mount Panorama. So this is Mount Panorama. Um, just, you'll find a lot harder Digimon here, there's just some more good, good fuck, didn't mean that. Right, well let's just fight this guy and show him who's boss real quick. Because it's good to have a wee fight every so often, you know. It increases the power, it's a good way to train. It's the only way to learn techniques. He just used Megaton Punch on me. Are you kidding me? And it also bloody paralyzed me. Paralyzing in this move in this game is so broken. Like, you can't do anything on it unless you use something. 
So we're hitting him for almost 300 now, that's crazy. Especially compared to like the 40 we were hitting him for before. So, two shots. Well, three shots I think it was, but let's not. Who's counting? Maybe we'll learn Megaton Punch? Nope. I know that Tyranomon can learn that move, so it wouldn't be too crazy to ask for that. Right. Oh, we've got some weird looking palm on here. No! <laughs> God damn it! I don't- I'm not meaning this folks, I swear! This is just a waste of resources fighting these guys. Fighting two people at once is never better as far as I'm concerned. Cause the best- like the only main- the main reason I do this is just so that I can- so that I can learn techniques and I'm not gonna learn any take any more yeah, I'm, you're not any more likely to learn techniques fighting two people as far as I know. Oh the buddy frame drops coming on coming in on the dynamite kicks. Block it! Oh, I didn't block it but I hit the other guy for more so we're all good. Come on, finish it off. Oh it hangs on with 16, that's not what I want. No! No good. Right, at least heal him. Because he's pretty down on his luck right now. Right, he's finally down. Let's use this medium MP. Because I want it out of my infantry, it's taking up an extra slot. Come on. Oh, you idiot. Oh, we're in a pixel form here, we can see Tyranomon's classic sprite. Don't actually do any damage here though, so I just kinda want out as quickly as possible. Right, there we go. Transforming back. Kick him in the face. And we've got a finisher soon, soon guys, so this shouldn't take much longer. Come on! Oh! Attack me! Attack me! Block it! Oh, he blocked it a better. No! Fuck! Look at it! It's bloody smiling! Take a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex foot to the gob, you pick. Fucking smiling at Gab Gabba getting interrupted. Interrupting people is rude, you bastard! Attack him! He's smiling again! Kick his ass, Tyrannomon! Come on! Hey, get done, you bobag! So there's been a lot of fighting in this episode so far, we've already had three fights. As Godzilla once said. And then they frolic off like the pussies they are. Right, so let's continue making our way up Mount Panorama. There should be some more guys to recruit soon. Spore area. It's kind of weird spore things on it. Oh! Unimon's here! My wing hurts. What happened? Hurt my wing. Right, so we need to give him something to heal him. Do we have medicine? I didn't sell it good. I was thinking there I had I had sold it. It's much better, thanks. Can you fly already? I don't think I can fly far. There's a clinic in the city. You should go there that isn't far from here. I heard about the city. It's bigger than I thought. Go to the city and rest. Thanks, maybe I can help you someday. Well, you're already helping us by going to the city, pal. Smashing. Right, quickly moving on. So I've had already recruited two people in this episode. It looks like it's going to be a very productive episode. So I've made our way to the top of Mount Panorama and now we're going to go down the back of it. Oh, there's Gotsomon here and Goburimon. Let's dodge these guys, I have no interest in fighting them. Although, Gotsomon has has a Megaton Punch and that's a pretty handy move. So I wouldn't mind learning that, but... Right now, my primary concern is getting ourselves some more moves. Flamedramon have some pretty good moves as well. That's when that tunnel come out when the guy, when the... Uh, Dramogamon on the other side's finished. Let's move up. 
And now we're in Gear Savannah. Listen to that music. That's great. Oh, and he needs a shit. Right, well, let's fucking take in the atmosphere in Gear Savannah as we run really quick. Really quickly going for shit. I could imagine, imagine you've never played this game before, right? You don't know what to do, and all of a sudden you enter a new area and your Digimon needs a shit. How panic ridden would you be if your Digimon needed a shit? And you didn't know where to take them? Because, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but let's just real quick. Um, you see that bar on the bottom left? Virus. Every time your Digimon takes a shit without going to the actual bathroom, that bar fills up. And when it fills up, your Digimon turns into a fucking horrible Digimon called Sukumon. It's basically a yellow shit with arms. Like, I'm not even joking, it is a yellow shit with arms. And your Digimon will turn into that fucking weak, disgusting Digimon. So, as a child, I always used to get him because I never just I wasn't very good at taking my Digimon to the toilet. But remember the five rule? So one, two. Oh, and he's done it already, right? Well, the five rules fucking are relevant here. As your Digimon's weight lowers, he actually eats less. So as we see, he's at 21 weight now. He used to be at 30, so he'll be eating a lot less, which is good news for us. And there's a shitter just off screen. Don't fight me, you wee dick. Right, just off the screen here. We're actually going to be recruiting some of these guys, so that's good stuff. But right now, I'm, my primary concern is taking Tyranimon for a shit. There we go. That said shitter in Japanese, by the way, in case you don't know Japanese like I do. Right. So we've got a little pattern on here. I think we want to fight him. Oh, and there's a mushroom! I'll be grabbing that once we're done fighting this wee guy. This is actually somewhat hard, because he's got some pretty strong moves. Like that. I don't know what it's called, actually, that one. Um, yeah, not sure what that's called. It's pretty good, though. It's quite fast. Wind cutter, air cutter, something like that, I think it's called. It's pretty fast and it does a decent amount of damage if it hits. It's also ranged. Ranged moves are far stronger than this. I'd appreciate it if you just kinda hit him. Please, Tyranimon. Get this done quickly as. Just gonna keep spamming attack. Come on, one more kick. One more kick to the gob. I'll do it. Eesh. Oh, I blocked it like the dick he is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, and he eats an air cutter to the face. Wind cutter. Air cutter. I don't know. If anyone knows somehow, somehow knows more than me, please feel free to correct me. Right, cool. Don't learn any techniques. That's a bit shit. Let's do it again. Yep. Okay. This guy's a pain in the ass to recruit, you need to fight him three times. Three fucking times for him to join the city, and that's just a pain in the ass. Oh! Two dynamite kicks, mine does more obviously, because I'm a fucking T-Rex. I'm a motherfucking T-Rex. Right, we're gonna This fight's just tedious, it's really fun watching all the Digimon fight and learn tech new techniques and see all the new techniques being used. But see when you're just fighting the same guy on the same screen over and over again, it's not fun. But as we find out later on, it kinda shows what part it kinda shows a wee bit of personality behind this part on. Cause he's a bit arrogant and he wants to win. He can't take the fact that we are better than him and we keep beating him so he keeps challenging us to fight again. Come on. Oh shit. Oh and he blocked it. Awesome. That spinning shot, that's a really, really strong move. It's one of the strongest air type moves. So it's like third, fourth strongest maybe. Oh and he dropped an MP floppy this time. Good to have him to drop that because he's been eating up all our MP. Just a little more. Come on, one more time. Yep, mate. 
There's no other drill by now. Fade <laughs> dynamite kicks. No trading blows, folks! Panamon comes out with a dynamite kick and it's not as strong as Tyranamon's. Panamon running away like a little bitch here. Tyranamon's gonna get smacked in the face with a, with a dynamite kick from Panamon. Oh, Tyranamon comes back with a powerful dynamite kick. Oh, and the crowd goes wild. Oh, the crowd goes wild, folks. This is uh, this match is really heating up tonight. Right, let's drop a small recovery on him, because he's getting a wee bit low. And we're going to need to tap up his MP. Because we don't want him to be using Sonic Jab, oh no. Let's keep that top off. Come on, go in for the kick. Do it for a thrill. Hope you'll understand. Hey! Got another MP floppy, good shit. Good shit, good shit. And he's raging, he's rolling about the ground like a fucking pig. I can't win, why do you want to win? What should I do? What do you mean? You don't have anything? For lots of time. If you have too much time, come to the city, we'll make you do slave labour all your life. Sounds good, I'll go. My name's Patamon, see you later. Come on. There we go. Let's pick up both these MP floppies. Don't want to waste them. Get that mushroom as well, yes. Love me some mushroom. Oh, we've got another recruit here, Beelmon. Get a cute wee bird thing. Who is it? No way! Ah, wait up. So we're gonna chase the wee pick down. I'm here again. No, no again, wait. No, 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 come on. Oh. Hi. Fucking dick. If we're going like this, we'll just repeat ourselves. Maybe I should wait here. Okay, that's doing nothing, right? Let's go on. Pretty sure you have to be up in this corner. Yeah, right. I'm here again. Not again. Wait. Bye. Bye! If we're going like this, we'll just repeat ourselves. I'll have to wait here. Come on. Eh. 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 Right, no, that's not working either. There's a certain corner you have to be in, maybe it's this corner. And here again. Right, I'm not gonna fucking repeat that every time, because it's just getting boring now. Maybe I'll. Uh, uh, just repeat this right here. Is it because I hit X? Is that what it is? Because I hit X, it's not gonna do it? I don't even know. Right. Yep, yep, we know the drill. Fish. Hi guys, sorry about that. My emulator actually just crashed, but I just it actually gave me a good um, chance to notice something. There is an event we can only do at this point in time, so what we have to do is we'll make our way over to the right here really, really fast. Because if we don't get there in time, it will be a lot more awkward to try and get this event to trigger. Christ, that scary ass Dramogamon almost got me there. I don't know if we're gonna do this actually, guys. Same drill as the last time with Coelamon is we can't do this if that orange if the dot gets off the orange is more scary oh shit. Right. I doubt he will still be here guys, let's check. Come on. No he's not. Fuck. We just missed it by the skinny of teeth. Well, shit. Guess we can go back and try and get Beom onto the city. Oh well. That's really annoying as well, because it's always one of those events that you're trying really hard to be here around that time, you know, you're never quite there in time. It's a pain in the ass, really, but... 
which you're going to do. Hopefully when in the next episode uh, Tyrannomon will wake up at a time where we'll be able to get him. Like, because you can get him in the morning, the person there, you can speak to him in the morning, and you can speak to him in the, e in the evening, but you can't speak to him at night or at daytime. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass, but. Ah, quail. Push comes to shove, we can always just come here just for him and then get out. Right, cool. Let's draw Mogamon. Oh, fucking god damn it. How about trusting me? I trust you. Yeah, idiot. Nobody's gonna trust you if you fucking fight them. If you want to fight them all the time, are they? No. Based on that mu on the music though, you can tell it's not gonna be very hard to beat. Because the music actually changes depending on what kind of battle it is. Like, if it's a boss battle, you've got that song earlier on, it's like do 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 And then you've got this song for like an easy battle. And then there's a new song that we'll find out later for when you get harder battles. Come on. One of these days, Tyranno one's gonna have a higher brain stat, and these fights will be a lot easier. Hey! Kick to the gabble. Finish him off for, with the 2 2 2. Yeah, <laughs> I find that cry kind of funny. Oh, listen to that song change. Gear Savannah at night. Isn't it lovely, folks? Well, if we've got time, we may actually do this right now. Trash Mountain and listen to this scary fucking music. Welcome to Trash Mountain, folks. Where all the shite bags fester. He's not that much of a shit, he's a shite bag. Fucking blob with eyes. Cyclone really don't belong here, which is that kind of V colour in a Gabamon. Doesn't really belong here. We'll see the kind of shite bags that are in tra Trash Mountain here. Disgusting Digimon. Wow, it stinks. Is this place a trash pile? I didn't know there was one in the digital world. This is Sukumon. Wow, this is interesting. No, I'm not doing voices. I promised you no voices. Wow, this is interesting. I've never seen anything quite like this. Oh my god, the poop are moving and talking. They're talking about me. I'm Sukumon, the mutant Digimon. You are not poop. You are not poop. In a way, you're right, because we are made from digital waste. Should we ask him to come to the city too? We shouldn't be prejudiced. <laughs> Are you planning to live here? Uh, I never thought about it. Well, this is a paradise. Only for the Sukumon tribe. Others can't live here. Then you can't live in other places? Of course not! What did you think? I see, that's what I thought. Well, although you can't live here, you can look around. Oh, just to look, okay? Oh, by the way, don't ever make the king mad. You'll be turned into something miserable by the King's Digivolution technique. That's actually a little bit of foreshadowing for something later on. You know how I mentioned that if your Digimon fills that virus bar, he'll turn into one of these ugly sons of bitches? Well, if you come to this Sukumon guy, he will reverse it for one time only. Look at him. Disgusting, isn't he? But I find it kind of funny because all these guys seem to think they're really cool and think everyone else is the disgusting ones, but it's actually the opposite. That That's why when um, he's talking about his digivolution technique, he says he'll turn you into something horrible or whatever it was he said. Doesn't that, that sound? Good god. Send shivers up my spine. Did you come here for something? Well, if you have a request, forget it, because I'm the king of Sukumon. I guess he won't be able to invite him to the city. <laughs> hey guys, are you the whatchamacallit city? This is just between you and me. I'm interested a little bit. 
I'll visit you guys there some days. So he's kinda joined the city, right? But not officially. He still adds points to the city though. Collection I am collecting Digimon cards myself. I really want a King of Sukumon card. Will you trade it for my Eightmon card? Sorry, but I don't have it. Those are actually pretty fun. It's a little kind of in-game trading card game. Well, it's not a, a game of sorts, it's just trading cards. This is our card list here. We've got Fake All, because we've not bought any. But you can collect cards, and there's a special shop that only appears on the island sometimes. And there's a way we can get them in the city as well at some point. So, that's the Digimon cards, but we can't do anything with them the now, so... Anyone, if anyone tries to trade with us, we'll be able to. Oh, this is the Dust Kingdom, I know that. The Dust Kingdom? What is he talking about? This is Dust Kingdom. I know this is just a, pit, a trash pile for you, but we may find something useful. I saw a long rod like thing over there. So that's the fishing rod we picked up earlier on. There's certain points in the game that let you fish, but um, yeah, we've not been there yet because we didn't have a fishing rod, there was no point. But there's also certain training places, like placed throughout the world. This one trains MP, because that's what the sign means. Hide and trash. Hide and shite. Doesn't sound very good, so they call that hide and trash, right? Begin. Let's just have a wee try here, see if it's any better. So basically Tyranno is just gonna try his best to hide in this shit. He's not doing a very good job, but you know what? It's gonna give him a start a boost anyway. 165, that is a crazy start boost. Considering normal training gives you half that. So, see if you really wanted to train MP fast, you could come here. Oh, and he needs a shit, that's kinda ironic considering we're on the ship class. Right, well, now is the. Now is gonna be a hard thing to do. What we have to do now is. These guys are actually really hard to get past here. Um, they're fucking gonna block our way. Mmm, <laughs> But we don't want to bump into them, or else Tyranno one's gonna shit himself. Come on, right, well, that guy's not actually that hard. I always remember having trouble with those guys when I was Velo, because they would always bump into me. Right, just to the left here, it's not very hard. Right. It's like a huge victory every time I get through a bunch of guys and take Tyranno one for a shit, really. Because one misstep could leave you fighting a Digimon, and that would blow everything. Right, so since we couldn't recruit that other guy in the Gecko Forest, oh, well, Tyranimon's just decided he wants to fucking veto that idea by telling us he wants to go to sleep. So let's. Oh, wait, shit, didn't mean that. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna say let's sleep next to Beomon, which would be kinda funny because she thinks we're fucking trying to kidnap her. Right, but. Anyway guys, that's been Digimon World. Night night Tyranimon, sleep well big buddy. Right guys, that's been Digimon World, I've been McChukta, cheerio!